Akwaba, welcome to the Jabosubia landscape in Ghana. This area is located in Western Ghana, bordering Cote d'Ivoire. I want to share with you my experience with conducting a climate vulnerability assessment in this landscape. The area is mainly known for cocoa production and contains two important forest reserves. Over the last few years, people in the landscape have been observing changes in climate variability. For example, we have noticed changes in temperature and rainfall patterns. This is impacting farming practices because of increase in pests and disease such as black pod disease in cocoa. We have also heard from farmers that they experience lower yields and tree dying off. That is why my organization, Tropping Boss Ghana, is working on the la Working Landscape Program, which promotes climate smart landscape for mitigation, adaptation, improved livelihood, and environmental integrity. The program is implemented in partnership with Tropping Boss International and with funding from the Dutch Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Before we undertook any action, we first needed to get a better understanding of who and what in our landscape is vulnerable to climate change. That is why one of our first steps was to carry out a climate vulnerability assessment. Through a combination of climate data and field observation, we were able to carry out the assessment. This gives us a good overview of the expected impact of climate change in the landscape and on the degree of vulnerability to these changes. For example, we found that average temperature will increase and that a reduction in rainfall is expected, especially during the dry season in Jabosubia. People in the landscape are very dependent on rain-fed agriculture both for food production and cash crops. We realize that climate change will likely lead to lower agricultural productivity, which will have a big impact on livelihoods and food security in the landscape. Because cocoa is an important export commodity and is mostly produced in this region in Ghana, these changes will also impact Ghana's national economy. Farmers currently have low capacity to adopt climate smart practices. For example, to make cocoa more resilient, it is encouraged that farmers use agroforestry techniques, but there are different obstacles for doing this, such as limited resources and knowledge, limited access to technical support, and land and tree tenure insecurity. In short, because sensitivity is high and adaptive capacity is low to medium, we see the overall vulnerability of agriculture in the Jabosubia landscape as medium to high. Once our climate vulnerability assessment was finished, we did not end there. No. For me, the next steps was very crucial. We started the results and verified our findings with different actors in the landscape. This helped to create a shared understanding of the degree of impact and adaptive capacities of stakeholders in the landscape. The next step will be for us to work together with the landscape actors to explore climate smart solutions for the landscape, which benefit the people in the landscape and which are also evidence-based. So in my opinion, this tool has proven to be very valuable for our projects. Through looking at scientific climate data, combined with inputs from the field, we have gained a better understanding of the various climate vulnerabilities in this landscape. So now, we are one step closer in developing climate action plans in order to increase the resilience of our Jabosubia landscape. Wait a minute,